The Life and Sad Ending of Iron Eyes Cody Iron Eyes Cody, born Espera Oscar de Corti, was born on April 3, 1904, in Kaplan, Vermillion Parish, southwestern Louisiana, to Antonio de Corti and Francesca Salpietra. He grew up in Gaydon, Louisiana, alongside two brothers, Frank and Joseph, as well as a sister named Victoria. His father left the family and his mother remarried and had five more kids. De Corti moved to California, changed his surname to Cody, and started acting. Iron Cody's first role was an uncredited one in the 1927 movie Back to God's Country. He then appeared in The Big Trail, which was later selected for preservation in the National Film Registry in 2006 after being deemed as historically, culturally, and aesthetically significant. In 1931, Cody did the movies Fighting Caravans, Oklahoma, and The Rainbow Trail. The last one was adapted from Zane Gray's novel of the same name. The actor played Red Corn in the adventure flick Unconquered, which depicted the violent battles between the Native Americans and American colonists in the mid-18th century during the period of Pontiac's Rebellion. In 1948, he played a Native American, Chief Iron Eyes, in the Technicolor comedy western The Pale Face, which starred Bob Hope and Jane Russell. The film song Buttons and Bows by Ray Evans and Jay Livingston earned the Academy Award for Best Song that year. Cody appeared in two different roles in Duncan Ronaldo's syndicated TV series The Cisco Kid in 1953. In the ensuing years, he made guest appearances in a number of TV programs including Cavalcade of America, Rawhide, The Lucy Desi Comedy Hour, and Mackenzie's Raiders, to name a few. In the 1950s, he also featured in Mark Stevens' western flick Gun Fever, along with Mark Stevens, Larry Storch, John Lupton, and Maureen Hingert. In the early 1960s, the actor made guest appearances in an episode each of The Rebel, Dick Powell's Zane Grey Theater, and Virginian. He featured in Sidney Salco's The Great Sioux Massacre, which depicted Custer as an inept warmonger and the Indians as his victims. In 1966, he played Takata in the western Nevada Smith. This was followed by his guest roles in the drama series The Fastest Guitar Alive, and Then Came Bronson. Cody appeared in a minor role in the American-Mexican 1970 Western flick, A Man Called Horse, starring Richard Harris. Following the guest roles in the sitcoms Newhart and The A-Team, he featured in the film Ernest Goes to Camp as an old Indian chief, St. Cloud. In the early 70s, Iron Eyes Cody appeared as a Native American in Keep America Beautiful, one of the best-known public service TV announcements in the country. In the campaign, he was shown shedding a tear after he witnessed garbage being thrown from a window of a car, polluting the environment. In personal life, in 1936, Cody married archaeologist Bertha Parker. They adopted two kids of Dakota Marcopia origin, Arthur and Robert. They remained married until Parker's death in 1978. From 92 to 93, Cody was married to another woman named Wendy Foote. Sadly, on January 4th, 1999, Cody died from mesothelioma in Los Angeles at the age of 94. He was buried in a cemetery, Hollywood Forever, Los Angeles. He was awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 6655 Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood, California on April 20th, 1983. Then he was posthumously awarded a Golden Palm Star on the Palm Springs Walk of the Stars in Palm Springs, California on January 15th, 1999.